Well, one of them, the kid just made a nice play. Sometimes that's going to happen in our offense. We, we throw the ball down the field. We, we, we like a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Their, their guy went up and made a good play, caught it with one hand. So that's the style of offense we play. The other one, he's made a bad throw. I mean, the guy was open. His choice decision was good. And I recommended not throwing in that corner of the end zone. Mike, I mentioned to you after the game that, that he was. He couldn't even talk about his good plays because he was so locked in on his mistakes. Mm -hmm. Isn't there a danger in that too, though? I mean, as a quarterback, you – I mean – He's pretty level-headed, Robert. <clears throat> He's very mature and he gets it. So, um, hey, how about that? Greg Burks, head of the officials. He likes my shirt. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. Um, so, I don't see that as being an issue with him. Um, he's going to be critical of himself. He's been here so long, and, and he wants to play as, as good a game as he can mentally. Um, we run 80 plays a game. We play fast. Lots on the quarterback. There's going to be mistakes. He has a high level of really quiet confidence, in my opinion. And I think we saw more of that in the last game in that he didn't toss the ball, he threw the ball. And I think each week he'll get a little better. How good was the play where he scrambled around, kept his eyes downfield, and found a stoner for good. about 20? I mean, he, if he stays active with his legs, um, could present a problem for defenses. Uh, his ability to, um, to run and get four, five, six yards, uh, avoid a sack, uh, and then his arm is strong enough to throw the ball down the field. So we think that's an advantage for us. That will improve the more he plays. You're so much better after you've played 500 plays in live action than you are just going through practice.